Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem. And uh, this problem is uh, again from CSIR, uh, June 2022 examination, which was held on 16 September actually. And the question ID is 52. The question is uh, very interesting. We have Hamiltonian, which is lambda S dot B, where B is some magnetic field, and S is the spin angular momentum for spin half particle. And B is in the K cap direction. And expectation value of S is the ensemble of actually spin half particles. So this is so we what we have to do, we have to calculate the value of expectation value of SX with respect to time. So what will be D upon DT expectation value of SX? So obviously, if you want to see the how your expectation value of any a operator is evolving with time, then obviously we can use the Ehrenfors theorem. So what is this particular Ehrenfors theorem? So if we have any operator A and expectation value of A is equal to D, D of expectation value A upon DT, which is equivalent to one upon IH cut. And here the expectation value of A and the expectation of commutator of A and the H is the Hamiltonian plus expectation value of del A upon del T if A is the explicit function of time. But here Sx is not explicit function of time, then this value is zero. So what we have to do, we have to just find D Sx upon DT and which will equal to one upon IH cut and we have sx h plus and obviously this value is zero the whole thing is that we have to calculate the commutator of sx and h so now what will be h what is hamiltonian h so hamiltonian h is here lambda s dot b hence b is only in the k direction then this the component of s in the k direction will be only going to couple with this particular b so this is actually lambda sz dot b naught because b is b naught magnitude time k direction so this is my hamiltonian and uh, what we want to know we have to just calculate sx and h which will actually sx lambda sz b naught and uh, lambda and b naught are constant so we can take it outside so we have to calculate sx sz so the commutator between sx and sz is uh, actually the commutator between sx and sz is actually lambda b naught and this will be minus i h cut s y so this is the commutator so now we can put it here so the value d upon dt the expectation value of sx is equal to 1 upon ih cut and we can take negative sign and that value is minus lambda p naught expectation value of sy and also ih cut is there so this ih cut and this ih cut can we cancel out and we have lambda b naught sy but in the four option, there is one H cut is there. So maybe this can be some misprinting or something else, but exact answer will be lambda B naught SY because this I H cut and this I H cut is cancel out with the negative sign. So this is a straightforward problem. If you know how to, how this particular evolution of uh, average value of uh, any operator with the time, the time evolution of operator is uh, there. And Aaron first theorem deal it very nicely. And uh, so this is uh, again one of the signal that now your problem can we go into Heisenberg picture into upcoming examination because this is just a beginning of Heisenberg picture of quantum mechanics. Thank you.